Hey guys, this is Ava, and um, I asked people yesterday, what should I post on my YouTube channel? What should I talk about? And a lot of people suggested that I should discuss self-love or confidence or something of that nature. So today, I'm going to go on a tangent or a discourse, I guess, on self-love. So, when we talk about something like self-love, we have to look at the society which surrounds this topic or this, you know, concept of loving yourself. Because I believe that our view of loving ourselves is flawed. And the reason for that is we live in this world where we're taught to constantly chase something. You know, when we're little, we're taught, you know, what do you want to be? You know, or what do you want to do when you get older? It's always about this finish line or this mountain. It's like life is just this peak and we're constantly rushing to get to the top. And then as we grow older, we're almost taught in this way to compare ourselves to other people through you know stuff like social media or our classmates or our families you know and the people asking well where do you want to go to college or you know what are you going to major in at 15 16 14 years old it's like you have to have everything figured out it's like you need this game plan and i think that culture is toxic and i think that culture is kind of playing into our concepts of self-love because Self-love isn't something that's external. And I feel like a lot of us view self-love as something that is this external force. You know, it's like, you know what? I love myself now. I found someone to love me, so I love myself now. I got this great job, so I love myself now. I got this new house, so I love myself now. And to be honest, I don't think that's how it works at all. Love of any sort is this divine energy it's like God's breath on us you know love is something that can survive through challenges and experiences and breakups and anything really look at the way that this country was founded you know this country where this hemisphere was developed and how it's grown or how it's progressed it's all about gain and a lot of the times the founding fathers the people who you know created this country have pillaged have raped the earth and women and people to gain and so i think this idea of gaining something or loving yourself for this benefit we're never gonna reach anywhere with you know chasing this this ideal with this spirit of, you know, I have to do this, I have to do this for me. I feel like at its core, self-love is something that is a journey. And I don't believe we need anything to love ourselves. I mean, we can be, you know, in the worst possible, you know, environment. I feel as if we can be at rock bottom and still love ourselves and have that solid foundation. I don't think that self-love is supposed to be pretty. You know, it's not supposed to be beautiful. It's not supposed to fit into a four by 11 picture. It's not supposed to be, you know, this ideal, you know, lifestyle. And I feel as if the more we chase self-love, and the more we don't get that image that we see in our heads, the more we almost dislike ourselves. Think about the person that you love most in this, in the entire world, in the entire universe, or the person you would do anything for. Do they need to have the best job for you to love them? Do they need to be in a perfect relationship? Do they need to drop that extra 30 pounds? Do they you know, need to clear up their skin? Do they need to make enough money before you can love them? No. <laughs> They're just them, and for that sole reason alone, boom, you love them, and that's unconditional. Why can't we show the same affection to ourselves? Self-hatred is profitable. Because when you hate yourself, you'll really just do anything to make yourself feel okay. You know, that's how addictions come into play. 
that's how buying beauty products and other things to make yourself look good and for you to accept yourself come into play and yeah you're that's expensive and people are making money off of you disliking them yourself you know and so again it's all about gain you know and a lot of the time when you gain something something also has to be lost you know so these businesses, these corporations, you know, these politicians, they don't really, they want you to be unhappy. They profit off of your dissatisfaction with either yourself or your surroundings. As if social media and, you know, Facebook and Instagram and constantly scrolling and comparing yourself to other individuals kind of sets, you know, whether we like it or not, sets these precedents for what it means to be like human. And I think another thing is that you don't need to constantly strive to be something. You can just sit and take a deep breath in whatever state you're in. And you can be like, listen, I accept myself right now. And however this goes, I'm not going to question my worth. Because the minute, the single instant that you need validation to be okay with yourself and to look in the mirror in the morning and not want to look away, that is not self-love. You will never have to have anything external to validate something that's as real and as deep and as raw as affection. You will never, ever require someone to tell you that you are beautiful. You will not even have to look in the mirror and think you're beautiful to love yourself again because external appearance is something separate and it can be gone in a moment. You know, if, you, if your self-love leans on anything, it's not self-love because if it leans on anything, every foundation, every building can be broken and every building at some time will fall. If you lost everything tomorrow, and I mean everything, would you still love yourself? Would you still love your spirit? Would you still love, you know, your passion and your drive and, you know, the way that you live your life? Is that still something that will make you proud inside? We need to eradicate this westernized ideal of self-love. Believe this westernized, you know, picture-perfect ideal of self-love isn't real. It isn't reachable because in a realistic sense, you cannot reach self-love by constantly pulling on things inside of yourself. And if you do, it's temporary at best. So you guys can disagree or agree, and I would love to talk about it more, but that's pretty much my critique of self-love because I have a critique on a lot of things but so <laughs> you can just like subscribe comment and thank you so much for watching